guys, I got some models here today. This is my girl Sam. Uh, I got Gibson here, the Chihuahua, and Lucy, the Dash Hound. Now, they think they're going for a walk, but it's realistically the only way I can get them to stay still. Uh, I wanted to go over dog safety and traveling with your pet because a pet is a part of your family, right? So you got to make sure you travel with them safe as well. So we're going to go over some tips and also just needed more of the dogs on our Facebook page anyway, so it ended up working out perfect. You don't want your dogs to be stressed out, and this might not be a concrete way to make them 100% happy, but just by following these simple tips, you'll at least make the drive a little bit more enjoyable for the both of you. A really easy way to make sure your dog is comfy in the back seat is to just throw down a familiar blanket. Keeps her a lot more comfortable, also keeps the dog hair off the back seat if your dog sheds like this one. You also want to make sure your dog is buckled up too. For Sam, she doesn't really like going on car rides, but you can buy restraints for bigger dogs, just like that one up there. But you might want to make sure you do your research beforehand. There's a lot of them that don't really work that well, and some of them only fit certain sizes of dogs, so make sure you do your research before you go to your local pet store. For smaller dogs like Gibby and Lucy here, all you really need is a crash safe crate that's big enough for them, some blankets in it. It'll keep them nice, safe, and cozy. Gotta make sure though, you wanna buckle this thing in, because if this thing hits you in the back of the head, it's not gonna feel too good. Another tip is to just turn off your power windows. If your dog accidentally presses on the power window, then she sees a squirrel at the same time. Well, I don't need to tell you what happens after that. So just make sure you turn off your power windows. Bring some necessary items for your dog. Some things to include in your doggy bag might include food, water in a bowl, a leash, a new toy, some poopy bags, and some treats. Okay, maybe you wanna hide the treats. To keep both you and your pet's leg fresh, make sure to get out and have a couple walks. I mean, it won't hurt, right? And seriously, who does the walking? You walk the dog, or does the dog walk you? And if your dog tends to get car sick just like Lucy here, it wouldn't hurt to go to the vet and ask for a couple sleeping pills. It'll make the whole trip a lot more enjoyable for her and a lot less messy for you. So that's about all the tips I have for you today. If you have any more tips regarding driving with your pet, whether it's your dog or cat or hamster, comment on the comment section below. Any help will help.